everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. Still doing my little online work thingy, um, getting those websites together for some people. But I wanted to just kind of film a few clips. So these clips are going to be over the next day or two or three, however long it takes me. But where is, where's Papa? Oh, he's right there. He always likes to sleep right next to me. <laughs> He's such a sweetie. Judy's down on the floor chewing on a bone. Well, I don't want to go outside, but I got to. I got to get some water. got to do some stuff. So let's get going. Oh, my goodness. It's snowing. <laughs> it is snowing. Yeah, it looks pretty, but hopefully it won't get too gosh darn snowy. <laughs> Look at all of this. Oh, yeah. I got to go dust off the... The solar panels and I gotta get some water. Oh look at it. It's kind of pretty. Yeah. Phew. The absolute last thing I want to be doing right now in this freezing cold is filtering water but I'm out of water on the inside so I gotta do it. I gotta make sure the dogs have plenty of water but it's kind of pretty. Look at that. I wonder how much it's going to snow. I got those all cleaned off. And the one over there. Yeah, it's pretty wintry out here, you guys. See that trailer over there? That's Mr. T's trailer. He bought the property right next to me, up the hill over there. He's already done quite a bit of work clearing it out and whatnot. Yesterday I went over there and... Um, the, his drive is pretty muddy and it doesn't have any gravel on it, so we grabbed some um, wood from his truck and tried to build a little road, basically. And that man, <laughs> he's fearless. He almost did it, but it was just too much for that big beast of a truck and big trailer to be able to get it up there on the hill. So for now, he's just parked over there until we can figure something else out to be able to get him up onto his property. So we'll figure it out, but no, I didn't think it would snow here in Tennessee, but I guess it does every once in a while. I need to go process some more wood. <laughs> that was going to be my thing for today, but uh, nope, I don't think so. I've got enough wood to last me for, um, I don't know, probably about a week. So we'll see how the weather is tomorrow. And you guys, I can't wait for you to meet Mr. T. He is... He's a card. He's a character, that's for sure. And I think you're going to like him. <laughs> He's funny. He's a funny guy. So, well, i got to go finish filtering that water and go inside and get warmed up. i got another giant egg, and yup, it's a double yoker. <laughs> Hooray, I'm going to be eating it. I got another huge egg yesterday, and I pickled it along with the other ones. So I'm guessing that the two pickled giant eggs are double yokers as well. I'm going to eat these up. I did pickle me some eggs. Yes, I've already eaten two of them and they're really, really good already. Even after having only pickled for a couple of days. And I did pull one of the um, extra large eggs, the jumbo eggs, out. And yep, it was a double yolker. So I'm betting the one, one more that's down in there is going to have two yolks too. So I'm, I'm getting between two and three eggs a day. Yesterday... Um, I got two eggs in the morning, went back in the afternoon, uh, I don't know, probably 2 or 3 p.m., and one of the other leghorns had laid me yet another egg. So that's pretty good. I can't wait till I see my first brown egg. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Anyhow, well, I got to shut it down and go do some work for money. Yay! Guess what, guys? The truck started the first try. I guess it's sunny. I, I guess my truck likes it when it's sunny. So you can see I've got Judy in and I've got Papa in. Hi Papa. Come on say hello. <laughs> I got them both in the truck. I gotta go get some stuff from Tractor Supply from the groceries and whatnot. So we're gonna see how this two dogs going in the truck thing goes. Well we did make it back. Okay we did all of our errands and the puppies did great. Whoops. <laughs> you might be able to see them playing behind us. Um did great in the, in the truck, the two of them. So I'm going to be able to take them both. Papa, he is still really nervous about getting up into the truck. I have to put his paws in and lift his hindquarters and shove him in. But um, I did go to the post office and I got two prezzies. So 
so it is time to ch -ch -ch. all right let's get the first one it's a box uh these came to the post office box like i said so i don't know who they're from i really wasn't expecting anything so let me see what they are more cardboard too and yeah i have been using cardboard in the wood burning stove and yes it clogs the pipes up sooner but it gets a fire going pretty quickly all right oh my goodness I love these. I had just finished a big thing of them. Cranberry juice. I love, love, love this stuff. I have been drinking it like crazy. I ordered it off my own list for myself, and I just drank the last one last night. So thank you, whoever this is. Oh, there's a note, and there's something else in there. And Marietta. Marietta, you said that there was something else, and I wasn't sure. And she also sent me, I also get this all the time. Summer sausage. I love, love, love this stuff. So Marietta, I think this was the final package you were talking about. I got them. Thank you so much. There are two things. Well, anything on that list, that uh, pantry list in my storefront, uh, that stuff that I get for myself regularly. So thank you so much. Okay. Next one. Don't know what it is. Let's open. I don't think I even need a knife for this one. I don't think so. Yeah, I do. My, my grip is just not good right now. It's been raining. It snowed yesterday. Uh, oh, yes! Jiffy all-purpose baking mix. Oh, my gosh, Marietta. Did you send this to? There's no note. I don't know who sent it. I'm thinking it was her. I love this stuff. I use this, um, either this or all-in-one uh, pancake mix. And you can make all... Oh, there's recipes on the back for apple crisp, sugar, sugar cookies, shortcakes, pancakes, uh, dumplings. Mmm, maybe I'll make some chicken and dumplings. Because I'm all out of flour and I'm all out of my all-in-one pancake mix. So this is absolutely fantastic. Mary, I don't know if it was you... Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comment section if it was you. If it if it was, I mean, you totally get me. <laughs> whoever, if it wasn't you, whoever sent this, it's like we were doing a mind meld and you knew that I, I needed it. So thank you so very much. Um, okay, let's talk about Papa a little bit. So the plan is to treat him for heartworm. The first step I've already started. Um, and it is expensive, but, and a lot of places will make you pay up front. Um, and I, I've done some research. People have left me a couple comments and stuff asking about it. Um, and I, I don't know. I haven't called the vet back yet, but I'm going to go through with it. The first step is, um, he, well, first of all, in the blood test, he didn't have any, um, baby heartworms that are floating around his blood system that eventually get into the heart. He just tested positive for adult heartworm. So, um, and he's still really young and, um, he, remember when the beginning, when I said, I thought he was sick, you know, I think he is. And I think the, whatever heartworms he does, I don't know if there's a lot of them or just a few of them, but I do think that they're affecting him. So, um, you know, time is of the essence. It's only a matter of time before something really bad happens to him. Um, he plays and whatnot just fine. Now, um, he hasn't gotten to the point. Well, well, let me let me regroup. Okay, so what what we've done first is he has started on preventative heartworm chewables, and um, luckily I got one of those for free as a sample. So that's once a month, and what that does is it kills off the baby heartworms. It doesn't kill. It doesn't do anything to the adult heartworms. So at least there's not going to be any babies getting in there and reproducing, you know, growing up and whatnot. And then she started him on doxycycline, and um, I'd have to look at the bottle. I think it's a 30-day supply. Let me look. Yes, it looks like he's got enough for at least a month. So what that does is the doxycycline, not only does it kill any, like, tick-borne diseases and other infections he might have, um, it also weakens the heartworms. It kind of deactivates, she explained it to me, but um, deactivates some kind of enzyme that's inside of them. Um, and that makes them more susceptible to the treatment that's yet to come. 
So after he's been on the um, doxycycline for 30 days, then I have to take him back in and he starts the injections. I don't even know how much it's going to cost, um, but I'm going to do it. So the good thing is, is um, I don't think they're going to char charge me for it all up front. Um, but he's doing fine right now. So once he starts the adulticide, <laughs> the actual injections that kill um, the adult heartworms, that's when he needs to be closely monitored for activity. What's going on right now is going to have to stop. It's going to be very hard. Um, during the entire time and 30 days after, he's going through the treatment. So I think there's three shots total. It just depends. I think they need to do another heartworm test to kind of determine how many, you know, how bad it is. Um, and, and, and at least two shots. And so as the worm starts dying, it's very possible that it can, instead of just, you know, absorbing and dying and going away, that piece of it can break off and go into the bloodstream, clog a, um, a blood vessel in the heart or in the lungs. And, you know, that's not good. So I will have to keep him completely on bed rest. No running around. None of this playing. Can you imagine the kind of challenge that's going to be? Whew, poor Judy. Um, it's going to be rough on Judy. Um, so I'll just have to teach her to stay away and not be doing this kind of stuff. The good thing is, is that he is 18 months to two years old. So he's still really young. Um, so he probably doesn't have that bad of a case of it, but I don't know. Um, I think it's slowing him down a little bit. Um, and I have heard him cough a couple times. And although, um, he, his heart sounded good when the vet saw him and his lungs sounded good. I still think that he's either a very, very chill dog or, um, whoa, yeah. <laughs> Or he's just um, got a case of heartworm that's starting to make him have symptoms. So I'm going to take care of it. I'll, you know, bring you on all along. I don't know if I'll, well, I mean, I can't go into the vet right now. Nobody can. It's curbside service. They come out to you. You take, let them take the animal in and then they bring them back out, which is kind of bad because I don't like that. I like to be with my dog, but, um, but that's okay. So that's the status on Papa. Um, I've got a bunch of work done and I've made a little bit of money. Um, and, you know, that's good. That's good that I have that option every once in a while to do that because it sure beats DoorDash getting out there in the freezing cold and you, God knows if that truck is going to start. Um, but it's been starting. If I keep it above a half a tank, it starts. Anyhow, um, I need to get back to work, actually. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to say that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.